Hello, third and fourth graders. Mr. Wojcik here. This is just a video that's going to be about the MCA reading test. And let me just go ahead and for fourth grade, you're going to access that sample reading test right here with this link on your uh, Google Classroom page. And I'll send Mrs. Dickey's class uh, a link uh, to you as well. Uh, but you can also access both the reading and math test here uh, to practice for the MCA test. And then for third grade, you can go to third grade tech on Seesaw and you have the same links. Uh, so the item samplers for math and reading. So I'll go over the tools for reading. I went over the tools uh, last week with math. So let's just get started. I'll click on this link here. Click on it again. And it'll take you to the MCA practice test for reading. And you have third grade. If you're a third grader, you're going to click on that link. Fourth grade, you're going to click on this link. I'll click on third grade. They're both, both the tests operate the same. Uh, just the stories are different. So here we go. Online samplers is what you want. There's only one choice. Click on that. When you sign in for the test, your teacher will have a passcode for you and you have to sign in with your name. Here, you're just gonna sign in as a guest. I'm just gonna go through the tools, but there are four sections in this uh, reading sampler, and I believe there are four sections in the reading sampler, four or five sections on the reading, or the reading actual reading test. You don't have to put your name in, just sign in as a guest, and then just press start. I'm not gonna go over the, the uh, story with you. I'm just gonna go over the tools you can use. Uh, the, your story starts out, starts out with just a title, so you're just going to go ahead and go over to the story. And it looks like the story ends here, but it does not, so make sure you read the whole story using this slider bar. Slide down and read that whole story. Each paragraph is numbered, so these numbers uh, represent a paragraph. And in your questions, they will sometimes... Uh, reference a paragraph number to help you find the answer easier. Most questions, you'll be able to go back into the story and find the answers. So please go back after you read it and find those answers. So, but if a question references a paragraph number, like say this question will pretend it says in paragraph 10. So you would just scroll down to paragraph 10 and find that answer in paragraph 10. Uh, so that's it there. You have way less tools uh, to use in the math uh, or in the reading versus the math. Uh, we went over the review tool last time, uh, the bookmark tool last time for math. Uh, if you are unsure of an answer, let's say this is the answer for this one. I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it is not the answer. I'm just guessing right now. Uh, and I'm not sure of this answer. I can bookmark it. And I can always, that will remind me to come back to this one and check the answer uh, at the end of the test. Uh, pointer uh, is just to answer your questions or move things around on interactive questions. You will have some interactive answer, answers uh, where you have to move things around. Uh, so that pointer is what the default is, uh, but uh, you can... You know, always click on notepad to take notes if you want. All right, so if you need to take a note to remember something, you can always take a note. Uh, that will stay in that note, notepad area even if you exit out. And then the answer eliminator is a nice tool. If you know for sure an answer is not correct, then you can X them out, and then that gives you a choice between two. Obviously, visually, that's just a really nice tool. Uh, to ignore those and uh, just take a look at the two that are uh, options, not worry about all four uh, answers. And then here for the math test, I did not go over this section here, but there are tools in this drop down menu here. Uh, and there's some pretty nice tools. Uh, if the back of the white background is too bright for your eyes or you just um, it's, it's bothering you for some reason. You can always change the background on the questions and the answers. 
uh, so you can make it more pleasing and, and not as stressful in your eyes. So maybe there's a color you just like best uh, that works better for you. So you can just click on that color you like and then uh, just press continue. And now it stays that color from question to question. All right, so let me answer this one here. I'm just going to answer it. Those are not the answers. I do know that for sure. I'm just going to answer it. Uh, because I want to just show you the review. So we did review uh, now, and I just want to show you where that bookmark is. If I click on this question, that will take me directly back to question one. So I can fix it or keep it, right? And I have to click on this to unbookmark it. So bookmark, unbookmark, and I'll leave it bookmarked for now. Back to the tools in this little box here. Again, the math test also has these same tools. Uh, the next one is enable magnifier. So for, if for whatever reason you're having trouble seeing the word or a word, uh, you can always magnify that word. It will be pretty hard to read the story using the magnifier, uh, but if there's a word that's small or you just can't see it for some reason, you can definitely use this tool uh, to help you enlarge a certain word or area on your test. To get rid of that magnifier, there's not an X on this box here, uh, but I have to go back up to the tool or uh, drop down menu here and it says, now it says disable magnifier and that gets rid of it. The next tool would be the show line reader mask. This is a really nice tool. I really like this one. So you can enlarge this to the full page. Uh, and then you can just drop this down and read a sentence at a time. So I know for some kids, seeing all the sentences is, are overwhelming or um, I know my eyes kind of play tricks on me. So some sentences are lighter and some sentences are darker uh, for me. Uh, but so this really helps me read these sentences. Um, and then you can also enlarge this as well a little bit. You know, you can make that as big as you want. Maybe you want the whole paragraph um, highlighted or showing versus just a sentence. Maybe that'll help you. So use this tool. So now, so now to see the whole story, I just have to slide this over a bit, bit so I can see this slider. And then I would raise this up to see and read the paragraphs, okay? So that's a tool I would suggest play around with, see if it's gonna work with you for you on the test. Uh, I think it's a really nice tool. Uh, so again, to get rid of this, you have to go back up to this drop down menu and now it says hide uh, line reader mask. Now for the math test, this one, this tool might not work out as great, uh, but for the reading test, I really like this tool. All right, next tool, enable answer masking. So this will hide all your answers. And then you can click on the eyeball here to see your answers. So if you wanna hide all your answers, this is really nice in the fact that you can read the question, think about the answer and see if that answer is here. All right, so if that answer is here, then you probably are correct. But remember, always look back in the story. Uh, most questions, you can find back in the story, there are only going to be a few questions where it's an inferencing question where you have to just think about the, what the best answer is uh, of what they're asking. And then the white noise, and this is available in math too. I don't know that this is going to work real well with math because uh, you are uh, listening. You can listen to each question. So I'm going to disable this masking here for the answers. There we go. And then white noise, you have three choices. And white noise, if you don't know what white noise is, it's just a sound, right? It's constant sound that just lasts for your whole test or however long you want it. And uh, you can experiment with this. And what the white noise does is it's going to try to block out any sounds around you. So if someone's tapping a pencil on their desk or they're tapping their finger and it's annoying to you or making a sound and it's annoying to you, you can tap white noise and you can listen to that white noise while you're taking the test. Uh, you're gonna wanna use your headphones for this uh, if you wanna use the white noise uh, option, but 
but I found it, you know, kind of interesting that they have this as an option. So if you get distracted easily, sometimes the white noise will help focus you on what you're supposed to do versus the sounds around you. The classroom should be fairly quiet, but you know, there could be someone, like I said, tapping their foot or their hand on their desk or, their, or a pencil for their, whatever reason. And it's just annoying. So this will help block out those sounds. So I, I don't know if you can hear that, uh, but that's water or waves. To turn it off, I'm gonna click on it again. Uh, this one here is just white noise, uh, just like a, a station on the TV with no channel on it. And then this is gonna be the sound of the wind. This is a little softer sound. So you can try those out. I would suggest experiment with them, see if that's gonna work with you. And maybe the white noise will just be annoying to you and you, you just are not gonna to wanna to use it. But I would suggest trying these tools out just to see if, it's, if you feel like it's going to help you take this test uh, or and maybe you don't need it. That's, that's just your choice and preference. The last uh, thing on this drop down menu is, is sign out a test nav. And that's something you want to be careful with if you're using these and don't press this one uh, by accident when you're taking the test. Because uh, then your teacher is going to have to help you sign in because you've already started it and they're going to have to document why you signed out uh, for whatever reason and why you're signing back in. So that's a tricky one uh, on this drop down menu uh, that they put this here as well. Uh, so again, don't hit that by accident. Uh, and then, you know, again, you can use any of these tools here as well. This, uh, I'm not going to answer the questions correctly here on this section, but I just want you to see how this test works. The story stays the same for about six to eight questions. So as you move along here, you're not switching to a new story. It's one story per section usually. Uh, it's a fairly long story, but read it all. And you're just going to go through and answer these questions. Now, this is a dual answer. So if I don't answer the bottom part also, then my blue arrow doesn't show up. So that tells you you have two things to click on. All right. So uh, I think uh, this one this one here was actually that answer. And then let's see here. Mm -hmm. I think uh, there we go for that second answer. I think that's what the answer was for this one. So um, without reading it, I'd have to read it again. But uh, that's that's that how to do this particular question. And then we go back to you know just a regular ABC multiple choice question. Again, I'm not sure that this that is the correct answer, and I. Pretty sure that is not uh, the correct answer. I do know that that's the correct answer. And then here is an interactive uh, problem also. Uh, so you have to order these into the correct order. So you really have to look through the story and figure out what comes first, what comes second, and what goes last. And don't go by what I'm doing here, but I'm just showing that you that you can move these around. I know these are not correct. I'm just showing you that you can move these, any one of these around and order this from uh, into the correct order from the beginning to the end. All right. And then I'm going to bookmark that one. Go back over here to the next one. And that one's the correct answer for that one. And then um, I'm just going to guess on this one. I don't remember. And that takes me to the end of the story, and I have two bookmarks. And so I'm going to click on the bookmarks, or I can go up here to review. Either way is fine. Review shows me where my bookmarks are. Uh, some This is just a little easier way where it just shows you the two bookmarks versus review shows you all your questions. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on question one. That's going to take me to question one. And let's say I just look at it and say, you know what, I think I'm going to change my answer to C. And now I'm going to unbookmark it. And now that should be off of my review. And now I just have question five as a bookmark. And let's say, you know, I'm going to change this one over to here. And 
there we go. And I'm gonna unbookmark it. And now my review should be finished. I'm gonna to go to the end of the section. It takes me back, my bookmarks are gone. And now I'm gonna submit. When I submit, <clears throat> it's gonna ask you, are you sure you wanna submit? Because if you say yes, you can't go back and change your answers. So this is a, a key part of the test. You have to be sure you're ready to submit because once you do, your answers are locked in and you can't go back and change it. So if you say, oh, I think I made a mistake on number three and I want to go back, it would be too late if you, if you press yes. Now I still can go back if I want and go back to three and change that one uh, because I didn't submit it. So I'm going to press submit. Yes, and it'll take you to the next section. Again, the next section will be one story for about uh, you know, five to seven questions. It's gonna start out with the title. Uh, you're gonna read it, and then you're just gonna go ahead and continue to answer those questions. You're familiar with doing uh, this type of uh, questioning and, and reading because you do it a lot in, in your classrooms, I know. So this is uh, just one that I just wanted you to show you the tools you could use to your advantage to help you take the test. I always look back and see if you can find that answer and uh, just take your time and do the best you can. You will all do great on this. Have a great day and uh, good luck.